So what I'm going to show you in this video is how we can share a document from OneDrive to Business to uh, any email address. So what I've done here is I've logged in as Gordon Jackson into my Office 365 and into my OneDrive. You'll note at the moment that I don't have any files that I can share so what I'm going to do is go up to New and select Word Document and this is going to create a new Word document by basically opening Office Online and placing me into um, the ability to edit the document so I can now create and edit in a Word document. You'll see I get the familiar ribbon interface, the menu bar across the top and once I've typed my text in we'll see down the bottom that it is auto saved in the background. When that is completed I'll just go back to Gordon's OneDrive and we should see that he now has a file that is in there. Now at the moment if we mouse over the sharing column we'll notice that it's a padlock and that padlock indicates that it's only shared with Gordon. So Gordon is the only person who can currently access that file. But we want to share that externally, so what I'm going to do here is select that document and then select the Share button. Now that'll bring me up the standard sharing option, and normally most people would type in here another Office 365 user, but in this case, I'm going to type in somebody's email address who is outside my organisation. So I'm going to use my Hotmail account, Okay, so I'm an external user with a Hotmail account. I can go in here and obviously um, type in some additional text and you'll notice that I'm requiring a sign in. Under the options I also have uh, selected by default that I want an email invitation sent to that user so they know what's going on and making it easy for them to access the file. The most important thing to note here is that uh, by default the file rights you are giving that external user uh, is the ability to edit. Now, if I pull that down I can for example select just to view but in this case I'm going to leave them to edit that file. So I'll now share that and what we'll see in our top right is we're notified that that document has now been shared to an external user. So what's now happened in the process they will have received an email that will allow them to connect to my OneDrive. Now looking here you'll notice that the sharing column now has changed to a group of users rather than a padlock. If we mouse over that we'll see that it is now indicating shared with some people. So if I now select the share option again with that file uh, selected you'll see that it is in the top left shared with Robert Crane and if I go to shared with you'll see that it has my external email address there. If I mouse over it it gives me those details and importantly remember that by default it is given the option to edit the file. So with that done what we need to do now is swap across to uh, another browser and log in to my external user. So here am I in my uh, Hotmail account and you'll see that I have received Gordon's email. So in Gordon's email here you note that it lets me know um, who it's come from and I have a nice link here that I can simply click on um, document to open. So I'm going to click on that and I'll have to unblock that because Hotmail thinks it's a blocked attachment. So it will then click and allow me to go straight into that document and up in the top left here you can see that we can also go into edit because I have given um, the external user that ability and if I simply go in here and do that, that document will then be updated and saved. I can then obviously click on Gordon Jackson's name and what I will see is his OneDrive for Business. But because I've only been given access to this one document, that's basically all I'm allowed to access. So the question is, is don't forget, is that because I'm logged into um, my Hotmail account here, I'm logged in with my live ID so I can obviously retrieve my emails and when I clicked on that document because I'm already logged in to the browser, I don't need to log in again to get into Office 365. So that's the benefit of using a Microsoft Live ID or sending to a Microsoft Live ID. If I didn't do that, if I sent to a Gmail or something else, I'd simply have to create a free Microsoft account and use that to log in and access the details. So if I pop back to uh, Gordon, again now we can see if we go into this document, uh, open it up, again just select uh, to run in Word, uh, Office Online and you'll notice that those changes are displayed. So again I can, as Gordon, I can keep working with the user on that document until I'm finished with it and then at any stage I can simply again select that document and I can change the share permissions 
and go down to share with and if I want to for example now I can reverse that and only allow my external contact to view that document so they can still use that link but now all they can do basically is view that document so if I now pop back and have a look at what my external user can do, so obviously they can view the document. So again, if I just click on the document here, uh, what you'll notice is, is I no longer have that ability to edit online. So obviously, because I can see the document, I can download it and edit it in Word, but I can't save the document back up to Gordon's OneDrive for Business because he has removed that uh, right for me, but I certainly can view it. So you can see that the rights for those users flow through um, very, very quickly. So in essence, the way that you share an external file with any contact is you simply select the file or the files you wish to uh, make available, select share, and then simply type in their email address and they then, by default, will be sent an email invitation to access the document if you require them to have a sign-in. They'll just need to create a free Microsoft Live account. Now let's say that I want to create a document that I don't want people to log in. I just want them to view it by clicking on a link coming up in a web page. So I can certainly do that. So again, let me go in and I will uh, create another Word document. And again, it launches me into Office Online, puts me into edit mode. And I will update the document, put something in there for people to read. You'll notice again that down the bottom here, I'm getting the, op the information that it is saving in the background that is now saving to my OneDrive. Once that is complete I'll go back to my OneDrive and then I should see I have a second document. So again we go in here and we now have a second document here called Document 1. Again by default it is only shared with me. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select that and I'm going to go to Share again but instead of sharing it with an individual by typing in their email address I'm going to select the option here Get a Link. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have a view or an edit link. So what I'm going to do is create an, uh, a view only link here. So this will now create a link for me that I can now send to anybody um, and paste in and they will now see the document. So I'll take a copy of that, close that, and we now will see that um, what we've got is that that sharing uh, should have changed and we now see the document one is now shared with some people If again we select that document to actually see what the rights are we're going to share what we'll see in the top left here is you'll see that uh, we get an indication that it's open to anybody with a guest link okay so now we've got that so what we'll do is we'll go back to our original browser here and what I'm going to do basically is make sure that I am signed out firstly of Gordon's uh, OneDrive for Business and so that's now out I'm now going to also sign out of my um, Hotmail. Okay, so there's no uh, user uh, bits left over there. Close that. And then I will go in and open Firefox again. So I'm going to open that from the desktop. So completely new browser session. If I now paste that link in that I copied, you'll see that the file that I just created will be displayed directly in the browser. There'll be no prompt for a login. So now I can, obviously, I can now obviously save that locally if I want to because um, it's made available to me. I can print, but I can't make any editing options. And in the top right-hand side, you'll see that I'm logged in as a guest reader, basically an anonymous user. So it's really that easy to share a document with a large group of users. So again what we can do here is when we go into a document and go share from our OneDrive for Business what we can do is obviously we can invite people via their email address we can create a link so a link means that there is no authentication required they don't have to log in to view the document and the final option here allows us to see who that document is shared with so really as simple as that so sharing a document with people outside your organization is very easy and very quick with OneDrive for Business. I certainly hope you've got some value out of watching this video and I thank you very much for taking the time to view it.